everybody and welcome back to Akshata's recipes. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm going to show you how to make super soft idlis. You know, what is the right proportion of the dal to the rice? What is the procedure of making super soft idlis? And it's super, super simple. And then I'm also going to be including an idli fry recipe, which is something very different. It's not deep fried idlis, but it's something different. So you can see that recipe. So you can make them with fresh idlis or if you have some idlis like, you know, uh, uh, just uh, left over, you can make it with that too. Now normally I do serve my idlis with some lovely coconut green chutney. So I will include the recipe for that too. But this time I didn't put, I didn't uh, make the chutney. I just uh, you know, made this idli fry which was really awesome. But I will show you all how to make this green coconut chutney too. So let's start then friends. So let's start with today's very simple and easy recipe of idlis. Now uh, here I've taken exactly three small uh, cups of rice, packed it up to the brim. Now whatever measurement you're using, you have to use the same one for the udet dal also. And the proportion is, or the ratio rather, is 3 is to 1. So you're going to take 3 cups of rice. Now here I'm using the regular rice that we use for cooking. And I'm going to take 1 cup of udit dal. Now you get something called idli rice also, you can even use that. Now we're going to wash both uh, separately, that is the rice as well as the udit dal. We're going to wash each of them thrice very well. First you will get this very murky uh, water, so you have to wash it till you get very clear water. So you know, wash your rice as well as the dal really really well. And then you will see that you get very clear water. The water is not murky anymore. So we're going to do the same thing for the udet dal too. And once both of them have been washed, we're going to soak them in water. At least one inch above the rice and the udet dal. And we're going to cover and keep this for at least 7 to 8 hours. Now I'm going to add 1 teaspoon of fenugreek or methi seeds to the udet dal. This helps in, uh, you know, the making the dal, the batter rather really soft and light. Now we're going to keep this for 7 to 8 hours, preferably overnight. So if you're going to make the idlis, then if you're going to, uh, you know, keep this, keep it overnight. And then we're going to grind each of them separately. So first we're going to grind the urit dal. You can use a little bit of the water, but we want a very smooth and thick paste. We don't want a runny or watery paste. We don't want a paste which has, you know, specks of dal. It has to be completely ground and then transfer it to a big vessel. See the batter? This is the urit dal. It's really, really very smooth and fine. And we're going to do the same thing with the rice too. And we want a very smooth batter with the rice too. So use a good blender or a mixer to get a very smooth paste. And then we're going to mix the rice batter too with the idli batter. And uh, you know use your hands because they say the warmth of the hands also helps in really you know making a batter nice and light and frothy. And we're going to keep this again for another 7 to 8 hours. And you will see that after 7 to 8 hours, your batter will double in size. Now this is in the night, I'm just keeping it. And, you know, after 7 to 8 hours, you will see that the batter just fluffs up fluffs up and rises up like this, doubles in size. And when you take a spoon and just run it through, you will get this kind of a consistency, a very light, fluffy consistency. So now I've just added a little bit of salt to taste and I've mixed the batter to make it a very smooth batter. 
and i've also got my steamer pot running i've just uh, greased uh, the trays with a little bit of oil you can even use ghee or clarified butter and then we're going to steam them for exactly 15 minutes so put a timer on your watch and keep it for 15 minutes and then let the steamer completely cool down before you uh, you know take out the idlis and demold them and you can see that the idlis have set so easily and so nicely that you can easily remove them you know with a sharp uh, knife or a spoon they easily come out and they're so light and soft and fluffy now you can enjoy this with some lovely coconut chutney i am sharing the coconut chutney recipe in this video and i also have a recipe for sambar i will link that below and i also have a recipe for rasam so these really at least go very well with uh, either rasam or sambar or just with some green chutney i also have a tomato chutney recipe which is super uh, you know in the easy to make and it's delicious i believe that too and if i uh, you know i leave them if i do forget then please remind me so i will leave them in the links below and then i'm going to make some idli fry so i'm just going to cut them up into small even sized pieces here i've heated some clarified butter about 1 and 1/2 tablespoon of clarified butter or ghee i'm just going to add half a teaspoon of udad dal I'm going to add one dried red chili cut up into four, some fresh curry leaves. I'm just going to fry them a bit. Then I'm going to add half a teaspoon of cumin powder, half a little uh, quarter teaspoon of pepper powder, and half a teaspoon of coriander powder. I'm just going to add these chopped up idlis. Just fry them in this lovely forni. Add some red chili powder and salt to taste. and that's it friends your idli fry is ready and it tastes super super uh, delicious you can even use coconut oil instead of using uh, clarified butter and uh, here is the recipe for a simple coconut green coconut chutney now the the trick to get the perfect you know chutney is your coconut should be freshly grated that really elevates the flavor of your chutney now here i just have some fresh coriander which i've washed thoroughly i'm going to be using about half an inch of ginger i'm going to use about two large cloves of garlic the juice of half a lemon and i'm going to be using 4 to 5 light green chilies now depending upon how spicy you would like it you can alter the number of chilies so just chop up the chilies and i'm going to use some freshly grated coconut you can use about a half a cup of coconut and little bit of sugar to taste just a pinch of sugar and some salt to taste and we're going to put everything into our blender add just about a quarter a uh, cup of water and we're going to grind all of this to a smooth paste i love this light green color of the chutney and that's it friends your chutney is all ready So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, idli recipe, and I hope you will give it a try. If you do like this recipe, then don't forget to hit the big thumbs up button that you see below this video by hit clicking on it. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please hit the red subscribe button and become a part of Akshita's recipes. Once you have subscribed, there's a small little bell that will show up. Click that bell. That way, whenever I put up a new video, you get a message for the same. Also, friends, if you want to find any of my recipes on YouTube, just type uh, the recipe you're looking for, and, and just to the side of it, write Akshita's recipes besides it, and you will get uh, the recipe you're looking for, and my recipe will come up first. For example, if you're looking for, let's say, pav bhaji, so just type pav bhaji Akshita's recipes, and mine will be the first that will show up, so you can follow my recipe. Also, spread the word about Akshita's recipes to family and friends. And in the middle of the video, you will see something sliding up as suggested. You can click on those. Those are my videos. Also, at the end of the video, you will see two small boxes with two different recipes. If you want to see those, just click on those. 
So all that being said, thank you so much for being a part of my channel by watching my videos and leaving your lovely comments. I love to hear from you all and I always reply back to all my to all the comments I receive. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram and my blog. Everything, all uh, uh, links are in the description box below. So guys, on that note, I'll end this uh, video saying bye, take care, uh, stay healthy, stay fit, be loving and kind to one another and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. Bye!